We're in the desert, but we're walking through the bottom of an ocean. I asked the guy, I said, um, I do a YouTube video and I really like your products. Uh, what would it take for me to get some product or be sponsored by you? And the manager said, sure, I'll send you out a box of some stuff. So he sent me out uh, a box of things. He sent me some more rubber care, uh, some wash oil, which is multi-purpose and wash and wax, which I use all the time. And then, let me the sprayers. So, as usual, I work on something on my RV and I forget to video it. I knew I was having a problem too. I uh, use this company, Aero Cosmetic, for a lot of stuff. And I bought this hybrid ceramic wax and polish the outside. And I also bought this clay pad, which you can rub on with the, the polymer and it cleans off any contaminants. It's gonna polish the whole RV. I don't know if this is gonna be enough or not. I asked the guy, I said, I do a YouTube video and I really like your products. Uh, what would it take for me to get some product or be sponsored by you? And the manager said, sure, I'll send you out a box. So he sent me out uh, a box, he sent me some more rubber care and wash oil, which is multi-purpose wash and wax, which I use all the time. Sprayers, that means some more of these microtones. Sent me a bug remover and a whole gallon of wash and wax. So I'm pretty happy about this. So I'm really thankful to Aero Cosmetics for doing this. I'm going to put links below for all their products. In fact, you can get a 5% discount if you click on the link below. This is the Aero Cosmetic website, and it's a good website. They have a lot of detail on here. Check out this uh, waterless wash wax mop kit. It took me a long time to finally break down and buy this pole, uh, but this has been one of the greatest investments I've had because now I can easily wipe off the RV with that uh, wash and wax without climbing up on a ladder. So you click RV and you can see all the different products they have. I've shown you some of them already. Products for tires and to get rid of bugs. But the one I use the most is this Wash Wax All. It's very easy to use. You just spray it on and uh, I wipe it with a damp cloth, damp from the product itself. And then I also use a dry cloth then to shine it up and get rid of any leftover streaks. They have this new bottle, More Concentrate. Their customer support is fantastic. If you go to the contact us and just uh, ask any question whatsoever, uh, the general manager gets right back to you and they're very knowledgeable. All right, it's another day. I'm out here still working on the RV. I'm not being paid to do this video. I've used this stuff for a year more. And I love it because so many RV parks now, once you wash the, uh, your RV in the park, this one worked. And so you can clean it with this and wax it. Uh, once a year, I'm doing this wax all, which I purchased from them. And this is a hybrid multi-polymer ceramic wax. It's supposed to last for a year. So what I do is I make sure that the RV is clean and then I spray this on and wipe it down. And then if there's any streaking, then I go back with the uh, wash and wax and it takes the streaks right out. Um, I did buy this uh, clay bar and holder. That way when I spray on the wax all, I kind of give it a rub over here and there. And then that takes off any oxidation. How beautiful this is <laughs> it's that is so shiny you almost can't tell the ground from well it's a little darker i got the side all shined up nice smooth feel on the rv it is just so silky soft but and there's links below in this video uh in the comment section or if you click more can't see it on TV, but on a computer or a, t a phone, you can click that more button and it drops down. And I have links for all the products I use.
we're heading out here into the desert again. Sue and I love to take little hikes together. And uh, so we're gonna go out here and see the cactus again. It's a beautiful day, but it's only in the 50s. So it's a little chilly with the breeze, but you can't beat these clear sun skies. This is the gateway to the trail. And you can see on this cactus where something is woodpecker or something has dug a whole way back in there. And then on this cactus, it's got all these little patches. See back in there? I don't know what that's about. It's just amazing to come out here and think that this all was a giant sea bottom. And I couldn't figure out why there were rocks everywhere, all over, just strewn about. And you see big piles of them and you think all of Arizona is like, and it makes sense because the oceans or seas, whatever it was, washed away at these mountains and then spread these rocks out evenly across the, the sea bottom. We're in the desert but we're walking through the bottom of an ocean. Try to wrap that around your thoughts. Look for rattlesnakes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There would not be any rattlesnakes because it is way too cold. Look at all these rocks. This one's getting one, two, three, maybe four. Okay, go ahead and lean against this. And here Mother Nature is taking a full circle. This one stinks. It is rotten and dying. Somebody was so nice, they lined up all the rocks along this trail. Check out this cute little cactus. He's only, what, five foot tall? And he's already got, oh, he broke off at some time on this side. Oh, it's weird, all these little babies. Because the those are the suckers I picked up. As usual, I work on something on my RV and I forget to video it. Just because I just get so focused on the task, I don't even think about you guys. 
All right, so what I did today was um, I changed out the battery. We had a uh, wet cell battery in here that was, I'll show you, it's tucked way back in the corner, and I could never tell. Uh, every month I looked back in there and tried to see if I needed added water to them. I even bought these little things that uh, showed the level of water that didn't work. It, I mean, the other day the RV wouldn't even start. Uh, the shade wouldn't go up or down. The battery is totally dead. And it's three years old. It was about time to change it. So I changed out the wet cell battery for an AGM battery. And it cost me a pretty penny. It was like $260. But uh, it's the perfect one to fit in here. And I got it back in. And I'll show you my new battery. I knew I was having a problem too because the jacks wouldn't go up. It always said low voltage. It's way back in here. And that's why it was so hard to check the water levels on the top. It was so dark. Plus, I couldn't get my head in here because this thing would bump. And so I had to unscrew this thing and then lift the battery part way out and then take off the red. So I'm hoping my life will be easier now because I don't have to worry about filling the water and our RV will start. All right, I've been wanting cowboy boots for a long time. And I just went to cowboy store at cowboy store and I couldn't talk myself from spending $225. At least. For boots, at least. And these are Stetsons. So I got these in here. These are slightly used. You can see a little bit, but they're only $75. And look at that nice green top on. And they're a little big, but that's good because then I can wear my thick socks. Okay. I got my pump, water pump back together. So I changed out that diaphragm in there, uh, put the, the nine bolts that go in on the outside. There's the two places where the water goes through. And so now I have a backup water pump. If my other one uh, goes bad, I got an extra. Mm -hmm. 